Hello everyone, this is the UCD Ultra Unified Cloud Gateway Ultra. This is the Swiss Army Knife Ultra Access Point and this is the old Gen 1 Unify Switch 8 port 60 watt. So this will be a full stack Unify Ubiquiti videos where I will be configuring Cloud Gateway Ultra Access Point and the Unify switches. So we will unbox it and later on we will set up whole Ubiquiti network. So let's get started. So this is the cloud gateway ultra as you can see the box in the back you see the ubiquity trademark logo and everything so we can unbox it from here so as soon as you open the box if you scan this this will be the quick start guide of it so under the box you see the ucg ultra itself we'll give it aside and see what else we get in the box so here you get the power adapter to power the ucg ultra you can see here and one patch cable ui.com you can see it here this is a i think 0.5 meter maybe so this is what you get inside the box and here is the quick start guide the paperwork so we will unwrap the ucg ultra for the very first time so this is the ucg ultra at first you will see the new ubiquity logo here and at the front you see the name scheme of u, u cloud gateway ultra and this is the screen where you will see all the status and here you see the five ports out of that first port is 2.5 gig wan port as you can see here and this is the type c port where you will use to power the ucd ultra this is the reset button where you will reset so all these four ports are the lan 1 gig port out of that port number four is a remappable wan or lan port so you can either set it as a wan 2 or you can connect as a lan so as you can see here the wan port is 2.5 gigs so you get quite jump in the uh, i mean uh, hardware from the previous ubiquity gateways like if you compare with the UXG Lite, UXG Lite has a 1 gig and a LAN, but the UXG Max and the Gateway Ultra has a 2.5 gig WAN, so quite good. So now we'll keep aside the uh, the Cloud Gateway Ultra and then we will unbox the Swiss Army Knife Ultra. I've already did a video on my channel uh, about the unboxing of the Swiss Army Knife Ultra. This uh, access point I got from the Ubiquiti World Conference when I went to the Dubai World Conference. So they have given me the, they have given everyone a one month Swiss Army Knife Ultra. So I will put down a unboxing video of my uh, Swiss Army Knife Ultra. But I thought I will do unboxing again of this video in this video. So here, if you open the Swiss Army Knife Ultra, here you see the swiss army knife ultra and here is uh, some guide and here are some tools the screws it has a different mounting options so you get the i mean the level option so if you want mount on the wall or something you can this is a mounting plate and here are some cable ties so this is all you get from the access point and i also have uh, the older gen 1 switches so um, I choose this switch because I don't have uh, the latest 8 port light PoE switches which is I mean uh, or any ultra switches I don't have. So I thought I will put this uh, smaller switches for this videos. So this switch is also quite good. It has a metal body as compared to the uh, other switches at the light PoE. They don't have the metal body is a polycarbonate. So this switch is 60 watt. So as you can see, this is the PoE out. So for it will uh, it gives 802.3 AF standard. You can see the status of the PoE off link down and up from here. So it got a power adapter also. It required 48 volt DC. So now what I will do, I will set up these uh, cloud gateway ultra switch and access point and show you or the whole configuration of the setup so this is the connection of the cloud gateway ultra unify switch and the access point so it is powering with the power adapter provided so type c and the van connection is directly connected from my network to the 
van port number five and the LAN port of the cloud gateway ultra is connected to the unify switch eight port and one of the port of the switch is connected to the uh, uk ultra access point so this is how the connection is done and i will connect uh, to the LAN port of the either cloud gateway or the switch uh, the same network so i can configure the cloud gateway ultra uh, for the very first time and i will show you the setup and the process of it here is the screen of it so when i will uh, turn on for the very first time it will boot up the screen and i will show you that later so i have uh, turned on the power so you can see the screen on the cloud gateway ultra it's only the ubiquity lo logo shows up and here the the unify switch the 8 port 60 watt is showing up the white led so i will wait for its uh, the cloud gateway ultra to get boot up and then uh, we'll set up the configuration and show you the setup of the cloud gateway ultra and the switch is booting up and the AP is still not power on because the switch is still booting. So you have seen the connection uh, previously so I've just turned on the uh, power and now you can see the cloud gateway ultra is booting up and the switch is already boot up and you can see the link light at the above it's showing and let's wait for that access point also to get uh, power and yeah you can see here it says ready for setup this is the correct connection of the uk ultra access point ucg ultra and the unify switch. so as we have seen the connection of the cloud gateway ultra with the unify switch uh, i've connected the van connection to the cloud gateway ultra uh, and the LAN port is connected to the Unify switch and from the Unify switch I have connected to the UK Ultra access point so in uh, the cloud gateway ultra it says ready to set up on the screen so I will just go to the Unify uh, console if you just refresh the screen you see the animations the cloud gateway ultra and here now it says uh, uh, to give the new uh, name your Unify consoles so the uh, before starting let me uh, make sure uh, you understand what uh, this console has so this is just a unify uh, cloud gateway ultra console which has a unified network only inbuilt on it there is no wi-fi or there are no any applications running on it but it uh, support all unify gateway and routing features so i will uh, keep the name as it is and i will press next and right now it says uh, create a ui account uh, or you can proceed without a ui account but i already have a ui account so i will sign in and i will put my uh, username and password quickly and then i will uh, use the ui verify app to sign in to the unify controller i mean unify cloud gateway ultra or i can use uh, any other authentication method so i'll use uh, the authentication method display here so i will be in and it says uh, uh, restore for a backup from a backup so it will scan for the uh, last backup or if there are any backup i have so it says i have uh, one backup uh, of the cloud gateway ultra so i can use that backup or i can continue without a backup so i will continue without backup and now it will uh, start the speed test so we'll see what uh, speed connection it gets so right now uh, it is downloading checking the download speed test and then it will uh, check the upload speed test so as you see the e ethernet ports of the van connection supports 2.5 gig so if you have uh, ISP gave you 2.5 gig connection that will work so now you can see the ISP latency 
location and what IP address is get. So I will just press next and it will setting uh, up the Unify OS and it will take about some time to set up the Unify OS. After setting up the Unify OS, we will up, uh, adopt the access point as well as the uh, switch. So I will go to the dashboard. The setup has been completed. So it says console is updating. So I hope uh, it may be updating to the latest uh, uh, console version. So uh, I won't turn off the console while it's updating. Go to the Unify Site Manager and you will see your list of console here. So this is the UCB Ultra and I think it is uh, in the Unify OS. So I will get back once iOS is updated, Unify OS. So the Unify OS on the UCB Ultra is updated to the latest version which is version 3.2.18. And now you can say the Unify network is available. Also, I forgot to mention Inner Space is also available, which is uh, about the Unify Design Center where you can uh, add your floor plan map and uh, uh, draw a heat map uh, of all Unify devices. You can place a Unify cameras also. So right now you can see it, uh, the access point and the switch is uh, detecting. Uh, for adoption so I will just go to the Unify network and I will click to adopt uh, my Unify uh, switches and uh, access point so it is uh, adopting and I will go ahead uh, and update the Unify network also uh, from the older version 8.0.28 to 8.2.93 and uh, later on uh, once we cover the topic of the ucg ultra the specs and everything we will check about the 8.2.93 controller version also the unify network version so first let's get uh, the cloud i mean uh, the switch and the uk ultra access point get adopted to the ucg ultra unify network application and after that we will uh, check about the new Unify network version, network controller version 8.2.93. So the Unify network has been updated to the latest version uh, 8.2.93 previously it was running on 8.0.28 and I have uh, adopted the uh, Unify 860 watt and the UK Ultra access point. So as you can see both are up to date and they are connected to the network so now first we will check the specs of the ucg ultra so to know the specifications of the ubiquity devices uh, they have brought the tech specs.ui.com so under that you can just go to, for each devices you can even compare uh, for unified devices what uh, are the for example right now i have a cloud gateway ultra and I want to compare with any other gateway. So I will compare uh, each of the Unify access, uh, I mean consoles, uh, like with the Cloud Gateway Ultra, with the U, uh, Unify Express, Dream Wall, Dream Router. So we'll just look for the Cloud Gateway Ultra uh, and see uh, the specs of it. Uh, as we have also seen the hardware, everything. So uh, it says it's like a weight. 520 gram and the enclosure material is polycarbonate unlike the previous gateway and the rack mounted gateway with the ubiquity you get the with the um, different materials the, the it uses the metals uh, uh, and it, it is a uh, desk mounted and you can place on a desk or even on the rack shelf you can place this uh, cloud gateway ultra and it got a 1.3 inch screen LCM screen uh, where you can see all the stats of your network and everything and I've already shown you the hardware the back side of it it has a van port and four LAN port and out of that port 4 is a remappable van or LAN port uh, if you consider the hardware the processor it has a quad core ARM processor and Cortex A53 at 1.4 gigahertz and it has a 
memory in build of 3 gb ddr4 and on board storage is 16 gb mc so management interface is via ethernet or bluetooth we have uh, adopted it through ethernet but you can also use the bluetooth method by adopting uh, using the unify network app so you can see the networking interface all the four lan port are um, gb rj45 and the wan is uh, 2.5 gb rj and uh, the ips ids throughput is ubiquity claims it uh, goes up to 1 gbps when you run all the applications uh, measured with the ip ipuf 300 dscp networks and it is powered using type c which is provided by the in the box 5 volt dc 5, 3 ampere and it supported voltage range of 100 to 4 volt ac and the maximum power consumption is 3.6.2 and the lcm display i said uh, before wrong it's a 0.96 k display and the button factory set button is also given you can see the uh, i will put down a link in the description so you can read all the specifications of it now go back to the gateway ultra and see the interface of it when you just click on that uh, ucg ultra under the overview you will see it is connected to, to the uh, isp and uh, you will see the ip address mac address your wan uh, address and everything and under the insights you, you will see the system performance like the memory and cpu usage and under the settings you can change the name the global setting what uh, settings advanced settings you want to set and here is the locate and the restart button you can restart so now if you go back to the port manager uh, i'll show you one thing here the port 4 it uh, says port 4 and i think you can change it from the settings if you go to the internet you have to set the port 4 first right now it's disable you can enable it you can use the secondary wan 2 as a port 4 and you can set up as a fail over load balancing or distributed so you can set up that and it is connected to the usw 8 port uh, 60 watt switch as you can see under the port manager everything and one of the port uh, switch port my access point is connected as you have seen the connections here already so under the dashboard you will get like this overview of your dashboard and this is a traffic identification and if you are connected to the access point it will give you all the stats of active clients and everything from here you can even run the speed test so if you go to the settings here i have not created any wifi networks but from here you can create a wifi networks and under the networks right now it is set to the default network you can change right now it's set to auto scale if you uncheck the auto scale you can put any uh subnet right now it is set to the class c 0.1/24 subnet and you can change to any subnet under the manual you can allow content filtering like uh, is it for work family you can use all those settings here and and under the internet you have a primary wan and lan connection you can set up and it support all vpns like the teleport vpn vpn server with the wire guard open vpn and l2 deep e vpn even the vpn client is also supported using wireguard and open vpn also you can set up the site to site ipsec vpn or open vpn uh, using the cloud gateway alt and under the security right now there is uh, only the I, I, dpi device ident identification the traffic identification is enabled and nothing else enabled so i will just go ahead and i will turn on the ad blocking and i will apply the changes and under the internet safety uh, i will click on advance and filtering mode notify and block and the sensitivity right now it is set to medium i will set to high or i will customize so when you set high it will use everything here you can now you can put the acl rules now so the acl rule is the access list so it is now available using the gui previously it was only through the cli method and it it was not persistent in any reboot or restart the changes go away so now but it is available so 
you can use this acl rules here you can add a traffic and firewall rules there are two methods simple and advanced you can just use this method so under the routing it suppose policy based routing static route ospf and the dns so right now the dns is also supporting the latest firmware version you can have your internal dns uh, the type host I mean C name or it is not C name. I think C name is uh, supports coming soon. But you can has use a type A record or TXT mail forward domain. You can use that and you can forward your IP address and domain name on that. Here under the profiles, you can set up your Ethernet port, Wi-Fi speed limit, radius. It, it will be the UCD ultra and the IP goes. You can go. So if you go to the system you will see the country and region i will change it to india and i will use the system and i will apply the changes so right now the background has been changed here and right now i will keep this as a default and i will use only the official uh, firmware version if you want to test early access firmware version or release channel you can just click here this button and apply the changes and if you want to turn the automatic updates on for this time you can change the, you can schedule for any time here it is uh, the backup settings you can download the backup and restore the backup file from here and under the advanced section you will get the options like interface new and legacy uh, all the settings this is the device authentication for the a access point and the wife switches which are in connected state you can use this uh, username and password to ssh into it and right now so you will get pretty similar everything but uh, uh, this cloud gateway ultra only support the network application and the inner space and uh, no other applications like uh, Unify Protect, uh, Unify Talk Connect, uh, which is used on the UDR as well as the UDM Pro, other Unify consoles. Now I've already enabled the, uh, I mean the DPI and the IPS IDS integration. So in the speed test, I know this is not an ideal uh, test, but just to understand the difference and when you connect on a uh, when you use all the features IPS IDS DPI so it gets up to speed like from ISP so from here you can check the connections of your client you can test the latency of the client so you can say this uh, will be the full stack of unify where you have a ucg ultra and, and the unify switch and then access point so this ucg ultra will be like a budget gateway where you don't want to spend the thousands of dollars on the ubiquity uh, for your network interface so this will be a budget unify budget setup where you have a uh, i mean cheap uh, cl uh, cloud uh, uk ultra access point uh, which support all the features of uh, 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz it does not support wi-fi 6 it support only wi-fi 5 so it's 2 into 2 mimo and the UCG Ultra uh, supports all the features like it has 2.5 gig of WAN connection and it supports the failover when, uh, when to as a failover distributed. Uh, you can set up that and it is, uh, I mean, it, it is quite jump from the previous gateways. Like if you are looking to uh, upgrade from the previous uh, older Ubiquiti gateways, uh, you can uh, jump to the ucg ultra it's quite good upgrade the only thing i miss in the ucg ultra i think it should support the hosted controller so you can host it on on your own controller unlike uh, going with the unify console so you have to manage it through the ui uh, unify os only but i think um, uh, the uxg max uh, there is other gateways a standalone gateway it is paired with the hosted controller so you can use that on the hosted controller if you want to self host so and under the system log you will see all your critical uh, logs and under the security detections uh, you will get all the, uh, the firewall detections uh, like IPS IDS and then the updates you will get to know the update status 
and here is the admin activity so here you will see a uh, review what uh, changes has been made by the admin so you can review it like the settings change or not here is the client uh, uh, which client is connected to the which uh, networks and the speed what speed and here is the ap and it, this is the trigger event and under the settings you can set up for the device connections like uh, uh, whenever a unified devices goes down uh, offline and online it will send you an email on your uh, ui account like the uh, whatever accounts you have used it will sync to that and you will get the uh, mail and even you will get the push notifications um, on your, your, your mobile uh, whenever devices goes down so you can set up whatever uh, push notifications you want to get alerts you can set up that so i have uh, created uh, one new wi-fi networks and i've connected my laptop to the wi-fi just to test as you can see i have created wi-fi test as a side e uh, and I use everything as a default Wi-Fi band 2.45 band steering is enabled and I won't touch anything it's just en uh, enable uh, the password to the SSC under the client's devices uh, I'm connected to the one of the SSID and now we can just simply go ahead and test the speed under the, the fast.com and see what speed does it give on that access point and I'm just near to that access point the speed from the fast.com let me test for the speed test here you change the next speed test speed differences from the fast.com and the speed test test by Okla so this much speed you can get on that uh, UK the access point and this will show you the gateway traffic filtering you can check all you click on the gateway here it show you the traffic of your whole applications and then all traffics and here the filtering it will show you the the head blocks and the filter what you can check the status like there is no one ad block what else here it will show you the geo or geographical map of your network blocking like you can check it from here and one thing i would like to show you under the security if you go to the you can use the dns shield and the ad blocking so under the DNS shield, you can use either set cloud board and out there in the Google it's manual. And under the ad blocking, you can it's enable. Even you want to set up the detection internal any port, you can even set that. Just save it. There's a port forwarding and there's a firewall rules which are already seen before so i think the cloud gateway ultra um, would be if you are looking for any uh, if you're looking for the ubiquity unified gateway looking into it so for the entry level uh, you can get the cloud gateway ultra it is all like support all the features uh, like the enterprise uh, networks so it support uh, the ips ids and it supports all types of VPN like the Wildcard Open VPN, L2TP VPN, and um, the speed throughput is uh, not compromised when running the IPS and IDS. So, and also if you're looking to upgrade from older UBS gateways uh, to new ones, so you can consider the UCG Ultra also. And you can manage them from the Unify Site Manager. If you just go here and click on Site Manager, you will see the list of the gateways here. So you can manage it from here. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.